Baby. Baby. Hi. And the week begins as it tends to do with a Monday. But this time it's the 4 a.m. at Glasgow International Airport. And I got a wicked cold still. And we are flying back stupidly early so that I can also make a flight to Madrid in a few more hours. Help me, please. Sammy, where are our flight passes? Name Jeff. <laughs> he thrilled. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Tell me, please. Stand. I can play the first five seconds. Sammy, <laughs> you're an embarrassment. What? Sammy. Sammy, let Elliot live. You've disgraced the memory of our late friend Elliot Goff. R.A.P. <laughs> Get this to Elliot, quick. Put up your anal cavity. Oh my god. Hello, gorgeous. Oh my god, where is he? Hello, he's all It's Zach like the doggo! Hello! So I'm ill. Feels bad, man. I had to drop out of going to the European Creator Summit in, uh, Madrid today because I can't do it. I can't get a five hour flight and go through the airport like this. Like, I'm barely able to stay on my feet. I just slept for about eight hours. And that really sucks because I was really excited to go to another creative summit because I could put loads of popular YouTubers in my thumbnail and get loads of views, you know? <laughs> uh, now, even. If Baby Bowley comes out, I can't go see him because I'm a big germ ball. <laughs> Pray for me. <coughs> hi, hi, Charlie. One prayer equals one health. Uh -huh. Are you worried about Tom? Zeki? Are you nervous? Oh. He's very camera shy. He's gonna be okay, buddy. He's gonna be okay. <sighs> Everything's awful. <sighs> After 24 hours of bed rest, I'm feeling like a little bit better. But I think I'm in that kind of morning high when you're sick, where you get up and you're like, I feel great. And then you walk around a bit and then you realize that you don't feel great at all. Ah. Uh, I don't want to be talking about how, about this cold and how miserable I am, but this, I'm not doing anything else. I'm just having a cold, so that this is, this is the content. You know, I either vlog about this or I vlog about absolutely nothing. So uh, I'm just gonna whinge about this cold for a little bit longer. I've also just found out that at the Creator Summit over in Madrid, they're currently making everyone go on like a morning run or do morning yoga, so in this very moment, I'm not devastated, I'm not there. Is it time for morning tug of war? Give it, give it, yeah, give it to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Zach, I've known you two years now and you used to be tougher. Come on. Come on, pull it. Come on. I am. That's the problem. He's, he's not, he's not putting the fight up. He's getting old. He's 13 years old. Leave him alone. 13 years old? In human years, that's... Thirteen. Oh my god, the legendary mint Oreo dairy milk in small bar form. This is the best day of my <coughs> life! Uh, it is good to be home. I've only been gone a few days, but it feels like a lifetime. <sighs> and now, because my trip to Madrid was cancelled, I am done flying. There's no more flying this year. I have flown 18 times. This year was going to be 20, and now I'm done. No more. 
I am free. Yippee! Yippee, Charlie! Quickie, you're back. Welcome back. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. There we go. There Welcome we go. home. Go, go, monkey territory again. So, Squidge is finally back, and he was apparently a handful, and that's according to a professional dog trainer. So, it's almost comforting to know that he is indeed a bit of a little nightmare. But he's back now, and he's a very good boy who's licking his penis. Oh, yummy. What have you found, Charlie? What is what is this? Is it a crayon dog costume? Yeah. And what are you going to do with that? Make a video. You're going to make a video? What have I become? You've become a fucking monster, you Jenna Marbles wannabe piece of shit. Oh, yeah. Made me sick. All right, I'm going to talk about something right now that I didn't know if I was going to talk about. Uh, especially not because I needed a few weeks to confirm my fears slash suspicions. And that is... Oops, I think I kind of killed last week. Um, I've said multiple times before that on average last week gets between 90 and 120,000 views. That's a consistent 90,000 people to watch it every single week. And I think depending on if it's like a particularly interesting week or if I get the thumbnail or title right, it'll on average go up to about 120,000 views. Sometimes it can go higher. On rare occasions, it can go lower. But since announcing the end of last week, you know, saying that it's going to end in February of next year, the average views of the show has dropped by 20,000 views. And I don't think that's a coincidence because I think we've had some pretty interesting weeks. Um... You know, that have featured all the things that people seem to like about last week. So I'm left... I, I can only conclude that an average of about 20,000 people just stopped watching because they were like, oh, the series is ending, I'm going to go then. And I didn't expect that because for me personally, I usually start watching shows once it's been announced that they're coming to a conclusion because I'm like, oh, good, something is is ending, that means it's going to have a satisfying ending, that means it's worth investing my time in. But apparently a lot of people do not share that sentiment. Um, you know, on average, last week gets about 70,000 views in the first 24 hours, and will go up to, like I said, anywhere between 90 and 120 within a week. But on average, lately, it's been going to about 50 to 60,000 views uh, in the first... Uh, 24 hours and then crawling up to maybe 90,000 views so yeah that's pretty that's pretty butts I'm not gonna lie like that sucks um now of course may, I, I could be wrong it could just be a coincidence maybe that I've just made some duff weeks lately but if that's true whoops guess I made a mistake announcing the end of last week um a lot of people you know commented saying they appreciate the decision and stuff and they were glad that I gave you know them a heads up but apparently a lot of people also thought well by then so at a guess last week we'll have a massive spike of views on the finale and just kind of mellow out until then and cool cool man yes queen i love a butter fucking soche <laughs> okay broad city's having a bad influence on me oh uh, we now go live over to the hospital where Eddie Bowley has some exciting news. <sighs> okay, so the time is about 20 to 10. We've been here since 11 a.m. Just for a, just a basic checkup for a minor, minor thing, which turned out to be Addison being induced and Rick is coming very, very soon. Ah. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie, but let's be honest, it is the due date, so you really shouldn't be surprised this is happening. Some fucking people. <laughs> it's good to be home. I had quite a rough night last night. For such a stupid reason. I basically spent the whole night worrying about the baby. About Eddie and Allison's baby. Because I, mean, I told Eddie to call me as soon as you know, the baby was out and, and safe no matter what time of the night it was after he called his mum and other more important people, obviously. But I never got the call, so I spent the whole night just, just worrying. And I think a big part of that is because I grew up with a lot of negative experiences around pregnancy. You know, every 
every single pregnancy I grew up around didn't work out, long story short. And so I'm just kind of riddled with fear uh, about it. But it seems to all be fine. It's just taken a long ass time. In fact, uh, we'll, we'll go live over to you now, Eddie. How, how are things going down there, buddy? Okay, so it's been about 24 hours since we first arrived and uh, the inducements officially begun. And I know what you're thinking, but I'm okay. I've had to go through a lot today. You know, I've had to watch. I've had to hold Alison's hand. You know, it's been tough. It's been really hard on me. I don't think, I don't think anyone in this room has had it harder than me right now. But I just want you to know I'm okay. I'm okay. Wow. He sure has it tough. To be a man. To be a man. Charlie, can we go one day without going to fucking hobby craft? Next time you're paying for the Uber. What you got there, Charlie? Oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Jesus. Whoa. Hashtag Trump. Why is this here? That's it. I'm leaving. Charlie, look what I got. Charlie, look, Charlie, look what I got. What does it say? Charlie, it's, it's for the house. Boat. That does say boat. Two more letters down, though. Boat it. Boat it. It's what letters have we got there, Charlie? P. <laughs> Buddy. What's it saying? No! Yeah! What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Where is that going? Uh, your room. My room? Wherever, I don't know, whatever room you want. <laughs> oh shit, what up? It's that boy! Happy? It's that boy! Ah! Come Squidge. Let's play a game called Catch the Tongue. Squidge, you are so aesthetic right now. Boop. Uh, we now go live to Eddie, who has something interesting to point at, apparently. Oh shit! Hey, so, uh, we just got out of the theatre, and a, a, a baby done happened. This one here, done, done made a baby. And here he is. This is Rick. R I K, by the way, not no C. Baby. Baby. There's a baby. 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 Oh, baby. Oh. Baby. Oh. <laughs> there he is. Uh, say something quirky. Something quirky. Yeah, but like, fuck like, you. do an original no, joke. Fuck you. Fruit. No, stop it. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You're better than that and you know it. Apparently not. No, keep this in. Keep this in. I'm gonna give you one more chance to start this clip off well, alright? Jake, say something good. Something, something good. good. <laughs> yeah, alright. That's enough of that. So I've come over to Sammy's for what is apparently gonna be a quick game of risk because Sammy is a compulsive liar. But before I got to Sammy's, I went to Eddie's house. Why did I go to Eddie's house? Because I put Eddie's postcode into the Uber. Maybe that's an honest mistake, except it's, it's not. Because first of all, I booked the Uber, Uber to Eddie's house. And then I said, actually, can we stop by Matt Lay's house? So I put in Matt Lay's address. Well, after I pick up Matt Lay, what do I do? I put Eddie's address back in. Why did I do that? And then when we're 10 minutes away from Eddie's house, I update the address because I realized I've actually put it down the road from Eddie's house. And at no point did I realize I shouldn't go to Eddie's house because he's in a hospital with a baby. I should be going to Sammy. I think I might have a problem. I'm still ill. Colds don't really affect your ability with postcodes. You don't know, you're not a doctor. Yeah, you just play one on TV. Little May, tops. I fucking got Mongolia. It's the best country. Matt Lay is really going for this game. What's going on? I probably ought to not have spread myself so thin over Europe. <clears throat> well, we'll, we'll see. see.
Man, oh. slow down. You drunk fuck. Oh shit! Neck it, fresher! <laughs> yeah! Oh, he actually is. That's oh, really. It's, it's, cool. it's, it's gonna come like all at once. Do it, right? do it, do it! Oh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I want this. Zesty. What am I getting up for breakfast now? <laughs> um, this. Oh! <laughs> Get your own. <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> I don't want to alarm anyone. Why is my mum calling me back? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jake, I don't want to alarm anyone. Guys! Shh. Hello? How's it going? You alright? I'm alright, thanks. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm calling you as part of a joke. <laughs> We're playing Risk. Um, no. <laughs> She's laughing. Why did she raise a racist? Uh, <laughs> I was ready hey, to turn oh, oh. straight oh, around. Oh no, fuck no! Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, game. My boys! It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Elliot, Elliot literally de dematerialized. <laughs> he died. <laughs> he gone. went to risk hell. Look happier. Ah, change my mind. So today I'm in Greenwich to get on a boat. A pirate ship, apparently. I think to celebrate the release of the new Pirates of the Caribbean film, starring alleged domestic abuser Johnny Depp on DVD. But there's free rum, so who who cares about any of that, right? Fuck it. Who needs morals? Yikes. All right, why not? I'm busy. No, not yet. Thank you for my burgy. So, casual reminder: my like biggest fear in this mortal world is face actors, character actors, one of basically people in character. And apparently in this ship there are those. And I'm gonna go downstairs now because that's where the toilet is. So Yippee! No! No, I'm not into it. Fam! Fam, I don't want this. Oh god damn it, why is it? Oh, I'm terrified. No oh, no, don't do that. Don't have that. Sunshine, you right? Oh, I'm having a great time. Come on over. Oh, that sounds, that's a tempting offer. I want to talk to you. Oh, yeah, that's what they all say. Well, I'm, never, I'm not going to live ever on this trip. Yeah, that is unfortunately my worry as well. Yeah. We've met some really lovely people. Have you been in there? Yeah. He's in the toilet. There's one in the toilet. And I just can't pee now. I can't do it. I think it's upstairs. What's upstairs? No, that is literally the toilet, fam. That's not the toilet. That is literally the toilet. I don't fucking know. You're right. Make sure you're right. Brilliant. You're cowardice. Oh, we have full faith in that. You're right, sir. Oh, I'm so good. I'm having a great time. Oh, thank you for the rubs. I <laughs> know. Charlie, I'm glad that someone else shares my fear. This, this, this is for you. This is. Thank you so much. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Why are you this way? It is. It's pirate's life. Pirate's life, motherfucker. What? What fear? This finger. The one I'm putting at children. Hi, Tom. Hi. Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2. Bow and Arrow. Red Dead. Famous philosophers. Hospinoza. Butler. Hume, the third of the empiricists. What do you have there? Kant. No. Manuel Kant. Naturally. Yeah, you lift that bridge for us. You sex bridge. <laughs> oh shit, dude. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's cool. Can't argue with that, can you? That's baller as fuck. Amazing. 
You can't go about your day because I'm on a boat. <laughs> yeah, this, okay, this is pretty cool now. All right, I don't know if I just hit the right amount of rum or we're just at the right speed or the right temperature, but this, yeah, this is pretty cool. This is very nice. Oh no, they're trying to make us run and we can't go any further up the boat. Help. I'll jump off the ship. I'm out of here. Ow. <laughs> It's not a school disco, no one's getting fingered. I take back everything I said. Big cheers everyone! Yeah. <laughs> Big cheers! Happy Thursday! Why you like this, Marianne? Yeah. There we go. Oh, there he is! There's our boy! <laughs> Never gets old for me. I think I just might, just might need a haircut. So progress on Crash Zoom Firing Squad, the new episode, is coming along really well. We have uh, two minutes now fully animated with backgrounds, with 12 more minutes to go, uh, needing backgrounds animation. We got Ben, uh, one shot working on animation, and Tobias, or Tobias, Tobias? It's German, I'm a little unsure, working on backgrounds. And that, that may seem like we're, we're quite far behind, but, you know, the first few weeks of it were writing it, and then we recorded it, and then we had to make a full uh, temporary soundscape, and then Ben had to go through and do an animatic for the whole episode, and then Tobias had to go through and plan out and create a spreadsheet for all the backgrounds. So now we're, like, firmly in the production phase, and then when that's all done, uh, or while that's being done, we'll hand it over to Dan to do the sound design, and Todd to do the music, and then we'll have a finished episode, and the race is, will Crash Doom come out before last weekend's? Probably not, but that would be fun, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of it. I think it looks really, really good, and I think people are going to like it a lot. Um, and even if they don't, I, will, I can honestly say that I'm very proud of it, and I think that's pretty much the most important thing. So yay! Uh, but today I'm in the office catching up on my massive to-do list of emails and stuff that's just I'm so behind on. And I haven't even done this bloody massive pile of mail video yet. And I haven't got new vlogs to record. Uh, help me, Daddy. Ooh, baby. Daddy, help me. So when you send mail to my P.O. box, it's actually getting sent to my management. Uh, who are at the other end of London and they receive everything they check certain things that are very big just to see if they're a bomb which is very nice of them and then they forward it on to my office and what I didn't realize is they've been holding on to a lot of stuff like what's just arrived which is a massive box of like coffee I guess you got some you got some cuppies here and and some cop I'm really and there's what is this I don't, I don't know when this was sent, I don't know who this was by, I, it's just a, like a giraffe, Elliot. I mean, okay, the other box just raises more questions, you got some fucking, I, this, this guy, I don't know, we got more coffee, we got these little things, and there's a box with a rock in it! What's the, what? Meet your right. <sighs> Smells like snot! No, oh, no, wait, my nose is just blocked. Do you think smelling it would have changed? Maybe it was poo poo. And, and here's another thing they've just sent through it is these massive banners from the Art is Dead launch party that was in 2015. <sighs> What's going on? Charlie, <laughs> what have you done to the dog? He's a crayon, man. Why have you, why have you dressed? A why have you dressed our poor baby boy in a as, a as a crayon? <laughs> For unrelated reasons to your blog. You make me sick. He quite likes it. You were so angry a minute ago. Oh, Squidgy. He's, He's frozen quite... still. <laughs> He's stopped moving, Charlie. Come on, come here. Come here. <laughs> come Hey, I'm sorry, Squid. I'll take it off in a minute if he's unhappy. Squid, he's definitely unhappy. <laughs> he does not want to be a crayon. Don't encourage him to attack my draft excluder. So one of the things I was doing today was getting on top of all of the things that I've got behind on, such as emails, 
um, and because Eddie's out of the office, bills. I had to pay everyone, and one bill that came back to haunt me was, well, long story short, a few months ago I forgot to pay my council tax bill. Easy mistake, I didn't notice a letter come through, and, oops, I didn't pay it. And eventually, a bailiff showed up with a payment enforcement notice and was like, hey, pay this, we're gonna take a shit. And I was like, okay, and I paid it. What I didn't realize, however, was that the bailiffs now also had a fee. And it wasn't a big fee, it was just like 50 quid or something for the displeasure of having to come make me pay for stuff. But, because I didn't realize I had that fee, it's earned interest. And today I had to pay 300 pounds to some bailiffs, or else they were gonna show up and take my TV. So that was really fun. I like being an adult, I'm very good at it. You ready when you are, Charlie Bell? Wow, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Crayola man. Wonderful, bye. Good. Do you want a treat? Bridges. Yeah. Crush me, Daddy. Yes, Queen. Cool. I can't wait to get on this train. Fuck. Let's look at some art. It's subjective. Oh no, Charlie. Someone's just left a cookie on the floor and a pretzel. Me, I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need this. It's the ice cream man. Get out of the way. Okay, I'm not gonna say I'm secretly a great artist, but one of the pieces in this gallery really resembles something I drew when I was 12. So, um, I think I might be a great artist. Ooh, yeah. I'm um, moderately human again. Not that I wasn't human before. Unless I'm never human. Oh. Ah. Yep. That's better. So tomorrow, Uber is being shut down slash banned in London, at least temporarily. And as someone who rides Ubers pretty much every day, I'm quite upset about this, but it's still a decision that I agree with, as Uber is not a very good company, and they need to take, they need to treat their customers and their employees better. But when I mentioned that I was upset about Uber being shut down, a lot of people were quick to say, Tom, just get a London black cab. And I have a bit of a problem with that, because London black cabs, truth be told, cost twice as much on average, and are half as comfortable on average. The pluses, however, being that the drivers actually know where they're going and they're not relying on sat-nav, and they're all wheelchair accessible as standard. However, I have a new plus for them now, because I just got a black cab home, and I lost my card, I left my card in it, but when I stepped out the front door to try and find my card, the cab driver had pulled back up, and handed me my card. And when I tried to give him a fiver to say thank you, he said, nah, thanks mate, you've already tipped me pretty well tonight, and drove off. So, London Black Cabs. Maybe not as bad as I previously thought. I hope he was referring to the tip I gave him and not that he's just rinsed my card. That'd be a problem. Oh boy. Yeah, Southwing. Oh boy, so I've never wanted to be in a hospital until today because we got me baby Rick! Baby Rick! <laughs> just really need to get this shot, you know, it's just really important to me. Yeah, oh, yeah. right? It's way better last name. <laughs> <laughs> May I come in? Uh, we're just finishing off a check here right now. So. Okay, I'll stay here. Hi, Eddie. Well, hey. I see how it is. <laughs> You're be he does not give permission to appear in this video. Oh my god. Eddie, you're a daddy now. I am a daddy. Daddy Poli. <laughs> hey pal. How's it going? Do you want to go with the camera? You can have it. <laughs> Inevitably. This is your life now. Have you slept yet? Oh, barely. 
<laughs> Nailed it. And he gets the And there he goes. Eddie, you know what? You know what? <laughs> yes, Tom. <laughs> you get the suck. Oh, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the terrible, terrible uncle. I will always be the terrible uncle. Oh, the focus, the drive, <laughs> the dedication, the suck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's clean this kitchen then. Oh, that'll do. Hey, Charlie, working hard or hardly working? <laughs> I don't care. Hi, Squidge. Hey. Oh, God, you're orange. Squidge. Why are you so orange? Squidge. Go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? <gasps> do you want to go for a walk? Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh my God, please. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. I took that as a yes then. Please take me outside, Father. Hey, Elliot. I just realized I was so caught up in the moment of meeting Rick that I forgot to film a reaction shot of me and truly capitalize on the moment. So, uh, here's a few options for the thumbnail, okay? Like we could be like... <sighs> or we could be like... <sighs> or I could be like... BOY! Let me know what you think, Elliot. This show is full of women. I don't. I can't relate to it. I don't understand. Squidge, where the fuck are you barking at Alana? Squidge, what is this? Are you? Are you okay? Anti-Semitic, Squidge. Do you not like Jewish women? Yeah, He's over it. I thought so. Think about it again. <laughs> I'm still fucking blown away by the fact that Eddie has had a baby. Like, holy shit, dude. A baby. There's a baby. Ah. Like, anyone who has been around me recently will attest to the fact that I've been un naturally obsessed with this baby and i am i think it's so amazing i think it's so cool i think there is a human being that is about to have its whole life and is going to develop a personality and insecurities and hopes and dreams and talents and that's crazy to me and i'm so excited to see it and that's awesome. Squidge. He's fully eating plastic. <laughs> is this what having a child is like? Because uh, I think I'll just watch Eddie have his for now. We, we oh, he's, just, stif he's stepping on my dick. we should all just relax. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, I was having like a heartfelt moment. Like, I could have teared up there. I could have easily... You know what? You right now. It You're doesn't matter. I'm gonna drink some gin and tonic. There we go. We love you, Eddie. And I'm gonna tell you that the week is over. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you last week. <laughs>